Meg, welcome back to my channel. Today is a full send on Christmas. Today I am going to be decorating my Christmas tree. I feel like the lighting is gonna be a little bit tricky because obviously the windows in my apartment were meant to have a Christmas tree in front of them, but that means my Christmas tree is backlit. So we're just gonna play around with it, bear with me. I did get this little frosted flocked tree situation from Walmart. It is not lit. It was $35, so super inexpensive, because I've got lights and all that kind of stuff already. So I am starting from scratch. It is, I don't know if you can see, but I do have it propped up on this little, um, it's kind of the base for an ottoman that I bought at a thrift store. Um, and I took the cushion off of it, and I just wanted the height, because I like how tall this is in my window. But we're gonna play around with it, because Obviously there's like a very exposed base, so we're gonna see what happens. But either way, I've got my little Christmas t-shirt on. I'm gonna start a movie. I'm gonna watch Home Alone and decorate my tree and I can't wait to do it with you. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna start with my lights. I'm probably gonna take it down off the stand so that I don't have to use my step ladder as much. But I have these kind of frosted globe lights from Target. I've got two packs of these. And then of course, my vintage C9 lights, vintage style, they're from Target. I have two packs of these as well. So I'm hoping that'll be enough to, cause it's really, it's only a six foot tree off the stand so I'm hoping this will be enough to make it really glow and feel very festive. I only used one strand of the C9 colorful bulbs because um, I don't want it to get too overloaded. And like I have mentioned, these do put off heat. So I am using the clips to like clip them away from the branches. I will never have this on when I'm not home or like not watching it. So it should be fine. But yeah, so I use the clips to clip it to the branch to make sure that it's facing away from anything that could get overheated. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna put my star on top. I think I got this from Target a few years back. And then I did buy a set of these kind of white and iridescent big bulbs. And I purely bought these to shove deep in the tree to fill up some of the gaps. So once I get these done, I might pop it back up on the stand and see how it's looking. But so far so good.
original case of vintage shiny brights. So it's definitely coming along. But I'm gonna put on as much as I can because I really want a full Christmas tree this year. So let's put on the shiny brights. All right, so as you can clearly tell, I am rapidly losing sunlight, which is bonkers because it's not even 4 p.m., but it might as well be evening already. Um, I've gotten a lot of good progress made. I'm gonna continue to decorate. I've pretty much done my ribbon, my big ornaments, and my like filler, not filler, but like just the plain ones. That's usually how I start, so lights, ribbon, bigger pieces, and then like blank ornaments. And then I go in and fill in with my like important or more specialty ones. And speaking of, I'm so excited because I got a sweet package in the mail from a subscriber. Her name is Janine. And I'm gonna include a link to her, um, her Etsy shop below, but her shop is by way of Salem. She is such a sweetheart. We chat back and forth on Instagram a little bit, but she sent me the sweetest little box and it had um, some wax melts in there, which I don't have a wax melter, but I might have to get one because honestly, this smells fantastic. Like this smells so good. It's called Ambrosia, which I always think of like the jello-y salad kind of stuff, but it's cherry, orange, lemon, sweet cream, vanilla, this smells so good. So I'm gonna have to find a way to melt this immediately because yum. And then she sent me some ornaments and I can't wait to show you because they are perfectly gonna match my tree, like perfectly. So she sent me this little red velvet donut and I also have a snowflake that is frosted. And then the other three are like baked goods, which is so freaking cute. So I've got a little pink and mint gingerbread girl. I've got a little ice cream cone. And this one's my favorite. I see my last one for the end is this little baking tray. But since I'm doing like the pink, red, mint, flocked situation, like this couldn't be more perfect. I cannot wait to get these on the tree with the rest of my special ornaments. And I'm about to pull those out as well to give you a little show and tell of my all time favorite, most sentimental ornaments. But I just wanna say thank you to Janine for sending these to me. You just made my whole day. Like I, number one, I wasn't expecting there to be as much in the box and just these are too perfect for words. I can't wait to put them up there. All right, and real quick, I wanted to share just some of my favorite little special ornaments that are either really sentimental or just super cute. So I do have my little Texas cookie cutter, which this is from 2011 when I still lived in Texas, but um, it's nice to have a little touch of home. I do have several ornaments from the different states and places that I've lived in. One of my all time favorites is this little sailboat from Maine when I lived in Maine, when I first moved to New England. I also have a little bear from New Hampshire, which is especially cool now that I've actually seen a bear, several bears actually. I'm not sure if I had this last year. I think I bought it in 2023, but I bought this little ornament, which is um, the, the facade of a little store in North Conway, New Hampshire called Zeb's and North Conway is the town that I just moved from. I don't, I'm pretty sure I've shared that, um, but now that I don't live there anymore, it's especially okay to share that. I have this little ornament from North Conway, which is super cute. Really adorable little general store that's very popular. I've got my little pickle. This is from Disney World, and it is a German tradition, so typically, on Christmas morning, the person who finds the pickle ornament gets to open the first present or a special present. And even though it's just me, I hope that one day I'm able to, you know, have a family or something where this would be like a cool tradition incorporated. Um, and until then, I just have a little pickle ornament. And last one I'm gonna share, <laughs> I'm sharing this ornament until it disintegrates and it very well might, but this is my little homemade golden snitch ornament. This has to be, it's well over a decade old at this point in time, but I did make it and hawk with the little wings on and I'm always going to be a little Harry Potter fandom girl. I got the little tattoo. So 
um, yeah, this one is always, I always now have to very gently place it on the tree, but it goes on the tree every year regardless. <sighs> like I said, I'm going to continue decorating, but I'll definitely get shots of both the tree in the evening time when it is dark and glowy and beautiful. And then of course I will get shots in the daylight where you can really see all the details. I still haven't fully planned out the, the stand situation. Um, but I really want to use the stand because I like the height that it gives the tree. I feel like it makes it more appropriately sized for the height of my ceiling. So we're going to play around with it and I'm really liking how it's coming together. I'm going to add some red ribbon too, like I did to the garland on my TV stand because I really feel like it needs another pop of just like bright cherry red. Oh, and I have the bows too. I have those like very traditional basic red velvet bows that'll look really good on this. So I'm just going to keep pulling more stuff on this tree so it looks really full and lush and nice. Merry Christmas, baby Reindeer's coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Merry Christmas, honey yeah. The snowman's dusting off 